there's an endless amount of podcasts on the web that claim to be real and raw. And then you listen and realize it's the same politically correct bullshit show after show after show. We, on the other hand, are proud to be completely different. This is X the Script. You want real. You want raw. You want uncut conversations about relationships, sex, current events, pop culture, spicy red room confessions. If it's happening in the world, we're talking about it. And you can be sure we'll be direct about it. And we'll be having a blast doing it. Bring in the funny. Bring in the sexy. Bring in the loud and crazy. This is X the Script. And now your hosts, Asia and BJ. Uh oh. Yo! Yes, what's yes, good, yes. y'all? Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. in. Welcome back. What happened to our whole little spill? Well, he said it for us. Show. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did. He did. He, sure. he did. he said everything. That he <laughs> did. Y'all already know what's up. Y'all already know our familiar faces. Yeah. So welcome to a new episode of Asia and BJX The Script. That part. Before we even get into anything, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so y'all don't miss any videos or any episodes from Asia and BJ. If y'all are streaming right now on Apple Podcasts, if you're on Spotify, if you're on any streaming platform, go ahead and hit that auto-download button. Yeah. We will appreciate you guys very, very much. Yeah. So what's going on today? Today is a weird day because today is a leap year. <laughs> today is February the 29th, and I can't even tell you like the last time there was a leap year, exactly what I did or what we did or what happened or anything oh, like that. It's so weird when we have leap years. I, I, don't, I don't know why. Like, I mean, we've only had, like, my lifetime, probably, like, 14 of these, 15, 16. Like, you know, this isn't new. But it's just weird. I feel like when somebody says February 29th, I'm like, man, it would suck to have a birthday on the 29th. That's the only thing I ever think of. <laughs> like, it's like, how would you actually celebrate it? Would you do it on the 28th? Or would you do it on the 1st of March? I like feel like how? most people that I've asked that question to, like I've only come across like maybe one or two people in life that had a birthday on the 29th of February. Really? I don't know anybody. Yeah. And they had they celebrate the day before. So on the 28th, that's when they celebrate their birthday. So that's when they celebrate it. Which is kind of crazy because I'm like, well, what do you do when you go to school? That too. <laughs> that part. That <laughs> part. You're obviously not a fourth grader if you go by the leap year. Yeah. <laughs> you Pretty know? much. Not just that, but I need somebody to drop a comment, you know, in our comments right now if they know anybody that had a birthday on February 29th. I bet you we have some, a whole bunch of supporters that had birthdays on the 29th. That's what I'm saying. I, I, bet I would want you. I just I'm just curious. I just would want to know. Yeah. I think you would, I think you would be a special child if you was born on February the 29th. I think that would kind of be cute though. Yeah. Like you have a very unique birthday and everybody would be like, "Oh my god, it's such a big deal when somebody tells you that and you're like, Mm-hmm. Oh my God! You have a birthday on a leap year, and it's like exactly. So, so you do you t- not think babies are born <laughs> on that day? So you technically <laughs> would only be able to actually celebrate your birthday on the 29th, You know, once every four years, right? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, but not just that, but kind of just going into this next segment. Wait, is the leap year every four years? Uh, y'all, drop a comment right now in the comments. I just want to see a bunch of question marks right now. I thought it was like question. every other. I just said fourteen or fifteen. That would make me like eighty if it comes every four years. Every four years. Okay. okay. I just I, I just let you run with that. When you said that, I was like, <laughs> I, I I was trying to count in my head. I was like, Wait, okay, so you fifty. <laughs> That's not true, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. I take that back. No, nah, but yeah, I you, remember now. You're right. But yeah, it's, it's every four years. Um, but there are some interesting things, you know, just in history <laughs> that have happened on leap year, and I think today will be like a great day uh, to cover that because <laughs> I'm gonna get another chance for four years. Okay. All right. Let's get into it then. This is February the 29th, 1940, uh, for her performance in Gone with the Wind in 1939. Hattie McDaniel became the first African-American 
to win an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. A lot of people do know who Hattie McDaniel is. Um, Gone in the Wind is probably like one of those, probably one of the most classic American films in history. I had to look who that is. I don't know who who is Hattie McDaniel. An actress. Okay. African American. She played in Gone in the I've never seen Gone in the Wind before. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's in black and white. Oh. Uh, but that's pretty interesting for it to be 1939 or 1940 for her to win an Academy Award. Cool. Uh for best supporting actress. Wow, she was born in 1893. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. That go back, don't it? I just Okay, and if that's the wrong date Wikipedia said it, just saying. But go ahead. Nah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, yeah. And then also, February the 29th, we're going back a little further. February the 29th, 1920, a new Democratic Constitution was adopted by the National Assembly, elected by Czech and Slovak, and Slovak leaders, furthering the consolidation of the two states into Czechoslovakia. At one point in time, like it used to be Slovakia, and then there was like the Czech Republic. Yeah. So... Uh, in 1920, the National Assembly elected by the Czech and Slovak leaders, they consolidated the both. Consolid- consolidated the two states. How do you, so what is it now? Czechoslovakia? Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Yeah, I, I knew it was, <laughs> that's how you say it though, right? Czechoslovakia. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I knew it was, I said Czech, <laughs> I forgot the yeah. slow, but yeah, Czech, Czechoslovakia. Exactly. Bad. Czechoslovakia. You be trying to make me feel slow. <laughs> no, but <laughs> like seriously, like even like in my history class, I remember us like kind of like, I don't know, it might have been like European history. I think we had touched touched on at one point in time, it was the Czech Republic and then it was Slovakia. And I then do at, remember At one that. point in time, they came together. I I like, paid attention to that part. I just right, didn't I, I, remember it was 1920, though. I would sleep a lot in American history class. I ain't gonna, I'm not even going to cap with you, but mm-hmm. I kind of do remember. Like, I still passed the class, though. How'd you pass? Uh, barely passed. Being a rounder, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Round that 69.8 on up to a 70. Let we, me... wa- we watched the movie Rounders <laughs> on our movie channel, and BJ said, <laughs> BJ said that he was a rounder, like the movie Rounders. It ain't got nothing to do with rounding, but BJ I said think it do. that he was a rounder in class. Yeah, no, actually, I think somebody put a comment in the movie. I, I promise you. No. Talking about something about rounding up a number. Okay, right, that you just made that up in your head. It mm-hmm. ain't got nothing to do with the movie, though. <laughs> rounding up. Yeah, I'm a round up. I'm a round up <laughs> before I round down. I'm just going to I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let y'all know. I'm a round up before I round down. Now, in 2004, The Return of the King... The last installment of the film adaption of J.R.R. Tolkien's epic fantasy, The Lord of the Rings, received 11 Academy Awards, tying the record held by Ben-Hur and the Titanic. 11? So 11 Academy Awards. Just for that one movie or for the the last one? Wow. The last installment. Okay. That's that's insane. Funny you should mention that because just the other day Trey was asking me, he said... (laughs) Trey's our son, y'all. But he asked me, he's like, what's like one of the best movies that you've ever done? And I was like, you know what? I thought Lord of the Rings. Oh, he asked me, what was the best movie that we've ever done that you were surprised by? Mm -hmm. That you were surprised was actually really good that you didn't know. And I told him, I was like, you know, I thought, I think the Lord of the Rings was actually pretty good. It was, that's probably one of the best like movies that actually really surprised me in terms of like how good it was. The whole yeah. trilogy was good. Yes, yeah, so I was gonna say that too, as far as just the whole <laughs> saga. Yeah. All the way all the way from like Fellowship of the Ring all the way down to the Return of the King. I yeah. I, I agree with you completely. I thoroughly like, enjoyed it though. Every last one too. So it's funny you should say it, but yeah, absolutely and I could see why though. Like for somebody that like me <laughs> and if you know you've heard me talk about movies before, I I didn't know I really didn't know I was real hesitant. <laughs> To watch The Lord of the Rings, like, just because I looked at the cover. But the movie itself, the trilogy, yes. is great, okay? Yeah. Great story, too. Y'all got me. And and a lot of people was like, y'all need to follow it up and watch The Hobbit. So I think we're going to take that in consideration, too, and possibly, like, surprise everybody and uh, and jump, start jumping into The Hobbits, too, at some point. Yeah, yeah. So stay you know? tuned for that, okay? And if you don't follow Asia, really, really with Asia and BJ, Okay, on YouTube, you missing out. Okay, come on over to the Patreon fam too, so you can go and get a little piece. Absolutely, of that too. because everybody have their favorite movies, <laughs> and I think at this point we probably have done at least 
one of your favorite movies at this point. Right. At least. <laughs> at least. Yeah, y'all. I'm going to be answering so many short form questions. Ooh, babe, you ashy. I am. You ashy as I don't know what. I can see that from way over here. <laughs> ashy ass. Whenever you feel a little froggy and uh, and you want to leap, just kind of just, just slide your hand on over here and don't just, tell me what a good time. You okay, know, we'll just kind of do this right, right here. On this camera, we right on camera and stuff too. Yeah, you know, go. you be trying to film stuff and everything. Okay, y'all. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> moving on to the next thing, y'all. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be answering some of these short form questions that we've gotten questions before, like, and we also have a confession today. Let me mm. just say. We have a couple. We kind of took a little break and we were doing a little different. Y'all, we still on the testing grounds right now. Y'all got to tell us what y'all what y'all like because I can't figure it out. And we're still really new, you mm-hmm. know? So I think... And we're still a little wet behind the ears. Yeah, and I be trying to, like, hold on to stuff because, like, at first everything was, like, flooding in. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't been... Y'all stop being comfortable and send us some stuff. Okay? Okay? <laughs> don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't be. For everybody that has all the short form questions, I did not forget about y'all because I did get an email and was like, hey, um, hello. When? I, 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 I already this. sent this. Okay, but yeah. I'm going to ask it again. Yeah. So. And some of these go back at least like a month or so. Oh, they go they go back further than, <laughs> they kind of go back further than yeah. that. So I'm sorry. Well, when I was looking, it was, it was like a month at least. Yeah, well, Maybe even further. Three. And then we're going to get into our confession at the end, y'all. So y'all stay tapped in. And y'all chime in with these questions and let us know what y'all think about this. All right? You ready? Absolutely. I'm in love with my girlfriend, and she is with me. My girlfriend buys too much weave and spends so much money on maintenance, hair, makeup, clothes, shoes, etc. Damn, somebody had to say it. (laughs) Well, at least he's telling the truth like he know what's up, right? (laughs) I feel like she's running how much I fell in love with her to begin with just to stay up to par with her appearance. Now she wants to get married, but I am over it. I feel like I'm being used as just a cash cow instead of being her man. Mm -hmm. What's your inputs on that? I feel like (laughs) to a degree, as far as what he's saying. That's so bad, though. You know, it it sounds bad because a lot of these things, especially when it comes to a woman, and a lot of people know this, especially, like I said, a lot of married men or, or men that's like in serious relationships, Man, just think of just thinking of the upkeep that it takes for a woman to like keep herself and keep her appearance together. I disagree. It's crazy. No, I mean that shit crazy. I do understand where he's coming from because I think like it's different for every woman in terms of like the sense of like comfortability or confidence, if you will. But I don't think like I don't think a woman has to do all of that to to feel pretty or to feel like they fit an appearance you know like i feel like you do what is comfortable for you and what makes you feel good internally but like damn girl like yeah if he's if 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 he's complaining about that right now i think she's probably doing it in excess because you know a lot obviously us men like we know that we want our women to like Keep they, you know, keep their appearance and and be looking good and and, and popping and sexy and do fine. Do you want them to though? Absolutely, we do. I feel like some men are like, I don't even like you with all that stuff on. Like, I just want you to wear your regular hair, okay? Whatever that looks like. I want you to wear your regular nails. No makeup. No makeup, and that's where I find beauty. Like, I don't, you know, some people might say that. Like yeah. for me personally, I'm like, mm mm, I, uh. You're not gonna keep coming to me asking me for stuff. I'm like, make her ass pay for her own stuff to some degree. <laughs> like, if she, if she, if you feel like the cash cow, and then you probably are the cash cow. I'm just, so. I'm just saying because if you cut that off, you see how much that's, of that stuff gets cut off. That's a whole bill in itself. That, right. that that's more than than the electricity bill and the water bill combined. If you, if you're trying to help her with her upkeep, it's sometimes it's crazy what women are doing. They're like, weave. you gotta get, you gotta get your eyebrows arched. Go back to the weave part. The, the the weave, putting in the extensions and the hair, especially the hair. When you told me how much like hair costs, yeah. I would be looking at you like, man, you better be wearing your own damn hair. <laughs> BJ did you better, say that. You better try to find a way to, to wear your own hair because I just think women are getting lazy. No, no. It's just there's a lot that goes. Well, maybe. Maybe. You know what? And it's Maybe ironically by you saying that. I per- like me. I would have a very hard time like taking care of my natural real hair because I don't really know how to like I've That's cap. No, it's not. Cuz you can do that. I mean, if it's going to save <laughs> us $250 a month, 
<laughs> just like just like old old boys asking in his question. It's not even two hundred fifty dollars a month because if you reuse your hair, you reuse your hair. I okay, you, I, most because most people do. I hear you, I hear you on that, but I mean, as far as glamour and, and as far as upkeep, like we on a budget though. I completely understand exactly what he's talking about is because I went with you a couple of times to get like a manicure and a pedicure and when I got done and I paid for it I kind of felt like I got used for a minute I was like C- can y'all take this back probably because they had to do all the extra for you on your feet and toes and everything they had to go get all yeah. the stuff from the back I like mean, the back back okay yeah, they yeah. kept that in the special closet you you the one that make the lady want to quit every time <laughs> <laughs> should have took my ass off work today because you got me doing all this extra stuff internal beauty is 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 very underrated these days yeah more and more, especially when it comes to like social media and you know the perception as far as what women see and the perception of what women think is pretty and what they think is sexy more than ever, women are going above and beyond as far as like their outer appearance. So I'm, I'm I'm just gonna put it that way. If y'all have like the extra money to spend it, like y'all gonna spend it on y'all appearance majority of the time for most women. I and, think and, some, and but, sometimes but, it's in excess to five hundred dollars. Uh, if you got to spend five hundred dollars a well, month, well, that's like that's, but that, that I feel like that's over the top. That that's probably over the top. It's not if you go to if you if you go get your nails done twice a month. Wrong. And, and then you buy some hair. You're that's five hundred dollars. Okay, that's still like okay. <laughs> See, look, y'all, we got it. <laughs> we got it, y'all. But you, we got it. You wouldn't. Bam. First of all, you wouldn't be buying hair like that unless you just got it like that to spend it. At least probably. Fifty to sixty percent of women who buy hair uh-huh. will reuse it. So, so what you saying is when women, most of them, they take their hair out and then they just wash it in the in the sink. Yeah, and reuse it. That's exactly what they do. Absolutely. I bet some women they probably put it in a wash and everything. But they and then put it in a dryer. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> talking about frizz. Talking about talking about a a a, a, a frizzy hairstyle. No, man. No. You are a mess. I'm just okay? saying. That's why we can't okay. tell y'all nothing because because you just take stuff and run with it. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. Y'all ain't got to tell us. We can, we can we can look on the bank statement and see how much it okay, costs. Okay. Well, five hundred dollars a year on hair. Okay. That's bullshit. That's man. cap. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing because it. <laughs> it's, I know it's more than that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a conversation for another day. I'll argue with you later. Okay. Men, one point. Women zero right now. <laughs> I've been with my boyfriend two years, and at the beginning, he was not willing at all to be monogamous. We ended up having a baby three years into having a situational ship. Oh, shit. And now he wants to be serious, but I'm stuck on the past. He would date around while I hopelessly waited around for him to be all mine, and now I'm in the same headspace, and he insists on us being together. <laughs> Am I wrong or is keeping a family together for the sake of having a baby more detrimental for our future? You, you know, I, I'm not trying to burst nobody's no, bubble. Wait. Let me let, I'm gonna let you go ahead and go first. Go ahead. Cause I, I me like okay, I feel like the way that this sounds to me almost sounds like the girl is just sitting around waiting and waiting and waiting. Like while he go and he doing his thing, he want to be out and, and playing out and be outside in the streets and everything. Mm. And then, oops, we have a baby and you and you still want to do your thing. But like now I'm like, OK, well, I'm glad you in the picture. And now that you are, now it's my turn. And then when you want to do that, that's when. It's like, oh no, no, oh I love you, but we should be together. Now we need to, we need to figure this out and work it out. And like, it's been years. It's been two, three years. I'm not finna fool with you. Yeah. I've been sitting around waiting on you this whole time. You think, you think at that point it's too much baggage? I think, and the way she sounds, really, it just sounds to me that she's kind of just hurt about what he did in the past. Like, and maybe he wasn't like out there like that, but he wasn't all hers. You know what I mean? Like. I think the thought of just thinking you want to be with somebody that doesn't want to commit to you and say that I'm yours or you're mine and we're together type of thing, like just from our standpoint, it's kind of like one of them things where it's like, man, it leaves you to wonder and to question. Like you never know because obviously he doesn't have to tell you everything about who he with and where he at and what he's doing and what he did yesterday. He only with you for the moment that he with you. And then, and then that's it. And then you off to thinking again, like, is he really going home? Like, is he really about to, 
You know, like, and it doesn't necessarily mean that he out here for real being a hoe. Right. It, See, that's why I said I don't, I don't completely agree with what you're saying right now. But it gets okay. to a point where it's like, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep doing this. Yeah. Like, if you thought I was gonna sit here and wait around with you, and now you done got me pregnant, and we got a whole baby, and and maybe like I, I might think about like, yeah, we probably should be together. But, it, but now, <laughs> like two years having a baby and all that, I'm like, Shh, yeah, it, it, it makes it difficult because again, you know, you know, women. Women may forgive you, but they ain't gonna forget. Y'all not gonna forget. You know what I mean? And uh, in the words of Kevin Hart, he wasn't ready. <laughs> he wasn't ready. You know what I mean? You man, I, and, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm finna stick up for him for right now. You know, like you can't try to hold a man down when he ain't, when he when he not ready to get in in a real relationship. But it doesn't sound like she was trying to do that. It kind of do. It, it sounds like that's what the expectation was. That's what. But she, he wasn't ready. Look, if you having and sex you, with me and we having relationships and we doing things like we boyfriend and girlfriend, <laughs> then don't think for a second that emotions and attachments are not going to be something that comes up. Like you can't come over here and we have sex and and we lay down with each other and and pretend like we boy and girlfriend and then and then leave now i do think to some degree it's her fault just as much as his right for for allowing that to happen because you and, open that door oh open those legs what i mean hey it's one <laughs> one of them the door the legs i mean because you could have closed it and closed those two and said to hell with all of that like no bro you don't want to we ain't together yeah, I'm, I'm not but, gonna be the girlfriend together when you want to be together. Right, but what if he said that too? He might he might have verbally voiced that and was just like, "I'm not completely ready to settle down with you." A, a lot of times, I think what goes unseen is a lot of times like men already kind of voice that they're not really ready to commit completely, and 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 I, I think the woman's expectation is that at some point he gonna come around. And and y'all get it confused as far as like when we having relations and we having sex and we together. But, but that's, at the that's end of the, the day, emotions, that's where the confusion comes in. Because once look, you start involving that, like, how can you not? How is that avoidable is my question. That's why I'm like, it's kind of her fault, too, because you allow for that to happen. But okay. it's like, what did you do to stop it? I, I, I got you with that. As long as you as long as you put some culpability on the woman, because she can't expect him to want to commit if he already kind of said that he's not really you know, ready and willing to like commit full term or a hundred percent. But, but I do feel like he didn't already set himself back by 10 years. So she ain't gonna, she ain't gonna forget about this for about 10 years, bro. <laughs> but that's the thing though. I'm just like, if she is going to commit to him, if you decide that you want to be with him, like eventually, then you're going to have to let all that go. Like bygones be bygones and, and y'all, but y'all, but y'all not going to let it go and move forward. But it depends on what was all happening and transpiring while she was doing all this waiting around because at some point she got pregnant. That took nine months. Mm hmm. So mm-hmm. so for nine months, like I'm sure wasn't no another dude like trying to be all up on her, you know what I mean? Yeah. While he was still, oh, I don't know if I really want to be with you or not. Sneaking and creeping. Whatever he was doing. Okay. Okay. Whatever that entails. You you didn't you didn't say that you wanted to be with me. So for that. Yeah, this brother he he set himself back at least I, at least a decade. I feel so. He gonna have to hear it for like the next way. ten years at least. Man, she may not. She, I mean, but but that's the thing is, isn't it? I know, I know though, she will. All of a sudden, now she wants to do what he was doing, and now he want to be with her. Like now, now let me let me let's work this out. Now we should be together. We got a baby. We should try to work this out. Mm-hmm. Why you didn't figure that out? Because because we are men. Sometimes we are psychologically immature at times. Maybe he had a little bit more growing up to do, and and it took the child to really like give him perspective on like what life is about to be like now. So he's like, okay, <laughs> well we about to have a child, you know. Rather than me still kind of doing my my thing, I, I need to like step it up. And sometimes it takes a child for a man to actually commit. It's this J Cole song. It's called Runaway. In the song, he talk about like running away. He has a good woman at home. But he still finds his, himself running away. What What are you running away from if, if it's all good? From real love, commitment, companionship, you know, family, stability. Like, he's running away from it because of, you know, being uh, maybe a, a ego, maybe being an egocentric male or, you know, like, like letting your male ego get in the way of what you really have at home. But what would be the ego, though? Like, I, I, I'm too good for that? Like, I, I need more or... 
uh, no, not that's not enough for me. Like, what is the ego? You know, other women sometimes like you know not ready, not ready to commit. Even though you got a, a good woman at home, you but, you still see all these other women out here. You know, look at the end of the day. <laughs> I feel like you should follow your heart and ultimately like try to make a decision based off of like the future of, of your child without sacrificing completely like your happiness. I think that's one thing that I feel like she's kind of like offering up is like, I, I'm, I kind of feel happy now that like, obviously the baby's here. The, it probably has fulfilled her life, mm. but at the same time, I'm like, so I kind of don't want to wait for you though. Like this whole time you've been playing with me. And now I feel like the hell with all of this. Like, yeah, yeah I mean, let, I take mean, care of your baby. I'm gonna take care of the baby. We can co-parent, uh, and I'm shit. gonna keep doing my thing. Like, deuces. You keep, you stay on out there. Now I'm, I'm good and ready to be out here too. I, I don't want to do that either. So now she's living by the motto that <laughs> God forgives, but I don't. I don't want to do that either. Like, <laughs> forget that. Like, free. I kicked my best friend out of my wedding because she made plans to go on vacation with her boyfriend on the day I went in for my dress fitting with all of my bridesmaid, supposedly my maid of honor, Damn. Who, who I'm now replacing, and the moms. She has decided she's not coming to my wedding. Am I a bad friend or overreacting? You know, I, I know how important a wedding is to a woman, uh, especially when it's like the bridesmaids and, you know, we, we, got, we got our date. And our time and our appointment set that we're going to all try our dresses on. I know how that goes. Man. I know how that goes. But I'm going to say she overreacting. I disagree. Really? You remember, I, I had a friend mm -hmm. at, at one point. <laughs> I hope she doesn't listen to this. She listening. I, I had a friend that got married. Okay. And we were really, really close. Really, really close. At least I thought. <laughs> we were. We actually worked at two different places together for years. Mm. She met a girl at work and they went out of town together, her husband and now her fiance. So my friend went with her okay. fiance and her fr and the friend, the other girl at work. She also went on this trip with her husband. And while they were on this trip, they decided that she was going to be the maid of honor. She was going to be the one that p planned the bridal shower. She was going to be the one that helped oh, her get ready for her dress. That's she how was it went. Be. So, and <laughs> at the time, I was pregnant. The baby had already came by the time the wedding got here. It, but And not only that, but the girl that she went with fucking was talking shit about both of us. Like, mm. she fucking hated both of us. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, like, they became besties and they go out of town and shit. So when they come back, I'm like, look at, like, the fuck? What's going on? She couldn't stand the fucking air I breathed. Mm -hmm. And used to couldn't stand the air she breathed are now best friends, and I'm looking at this shit like, this got to be the fakest shit I ever seen. And it's probably all because of a wedding. I ended up leaving early. I really didn't want to be there because when did, she got ready to put on her dress and did stuff. Did I come with you to that? No. No, no, no. Okay. I didn't okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> but when she okay. when she started putting her dress on, like, she was like, I, I got it. I got it. You need to get it. Like, I'm like, bitch, I will pop your ass. Oh, okay. You don't even fucking know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't even fucking know it. Like but because now she the she the maid of honor, so right. she trying to so she trying to assume the position right. of the maid of honor. And I'm like, you know, and, try, and trying to get you on about it. Her. You've been knowing her for nine months. Like I've been knowing her <laughs> for nine years. For years, yeah. For me, <laughs> like after that shit happened, I didn't feel the same about her. Like the perception I had about what friends were, like completely changed at that point. Because I I thought I felt like I had completely been stabbed in the back. Like. You are a true bitch yeah. for that. But see, but I, I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> I feel like y'all just get too caught up in like the whole wedding. And no. I'm going to be the bridesmaid and I'm going to be the maid of honor. I think it was just, it was the principle that like, and then you le like last minute asked me to be a part of it when I could have been a part of everything the, oh, the whole time. From the jump, yeah, yeah. Just because I was pregnant doesn't mean I couldn't have been at your dress fitting. I couldn't have showed up to help you with your dress or planned a bridal shower. Like I didn't ha like I wasn't nothing wrong with me. Yeah. I was just pregnant. But even with, with you asking this question though, I just feel like she just overreacting it and, and just going. So I you saying I overreacted by being in my feelings about how she treated me towards her. No, wife. no, 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 no. And I thought we were friends. No, because I, because she I, thought that they were friends and she leaving with her boyfriend. I would feel some type right, of way. But 
I'm kind of on the fence with it because I, I know how important and, and, and how these weddings go, especially for women. Yeah, well, no. As far as that, the moment. But when you depend on somebody to be there for something like that <laughs> that's, throughout, that, like. And that's what I'm saying. It yeah. being as special as, as it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. I feel like for dudes, maybe it's not really that big of a deal. But, like, for, for women, this is, like, part of one part of, like, the biggest piece of their life. Yeah. And for somebody to yeah. just call out on it and say, oh, I'm going out of town with my boyfriend. We're going on vacation. And you've been knowing that this. Clearly, you knew this is the best friend. <clears throat> I, I don't think that she's overreacting. And she probably is rightfully so in her feelings about it because this is her best friend. This is supposed to be the one person that you could depend on to be there in the most special part of your life. Yeah. And she decides to go off with her boyfriend. Like, y'all couldn't replan you. this trip. And and you disappear and like she already kind of. But like, I can guarantee, like, even if she was like, "Okay, yeah, girl, that's fine. Go ahead, you go with your boyfriend." She was gonna look at her crazy when she got back, cause I know I did. Mm. <laughs> that's the truth, and I still feel a certain type of way yeah. about it. Like I, I, in terms I, I try- of friendship, I don't feel like I I look at her as the same type of friend. That's for sure. You taking on a whole different responsibility than just somebody that's just supposed to have a, a regular bridesmaid dress. And, and, and stand close to the back and just take a picture too. But the thing is, though, she didn't miss the wedding. She missed the dress fitting, though. So mm-hmm. I kind of feel like. But like you said, that's important too because that's, that's important. That, that's a, it's a lot going on yeah, because she's supposed to be helping you with your bride's dress. <laughs> exactly. Which your, you know, what you're gonna get married in, and then the same thing for her. It might have hurt more that you kicked her out the wedding that she's not gonna show up now that 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 that, that, that happened. If that's already because this was one of those ones that, that went back, but. If you didn't invite your best friend, if you were hurt just from the fact that she didn't come to the dress fitting, then you're going to really be butt hurt that she's not yeah. even there at the wedding. Like, your friendship is basically over. But don't let, like, a lifelong relationship with a friend end because of you getting married and y'all have some differences going on in a marriage. Like, yeah. work that shit out. Yeah. Y'all work that shit out. Yeah. That's, it go back to, like, one of them things where you pick your boyfriend or your man over your over your friend, and that's supposed to be your friend. Yeah. You know, so what kind of friend are you? That's the that, that's the feeling that I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Just said, I want to break up with my boyfriend because I am turned off by the fact that all he wants is oral and anal sex. I feel like there's something he's not telling me or am I missing something? I've never <laughs> known anybody only to want that. What am I missing? If you're going to get the mouth and you're going to get the back door, you might as well go through the front door too. like like real talk. <laughs> like said, ring the doorbell and, and I mean the door is already oh unlocked. Just come on gosh. into the door. Why though? Why? It, man, from, from just from my just from my own logic, just from BJ's logic. Okay. I just feel like he's scared to get her pregnant. <laughs> she ain't even say nothing about that. Because I'm saying because if you bust through the back door, <laughs> there's no way that she can get pregnant. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all! Somebody it gotta get be. him. That's the only thing I can think of. Is is. But how long does this go, babe? I be damned. I'm sorry. No, girl. If I was, no. some, I mean, he, I mean, he just taking precaution. I just can't. I just don't even understand. Like this is a form of contraception. Why? I don't know. I just feel <laughs> like you just keep wanting to stick it in back there, and then you want me to give you hit. Like I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm not did, do, just the did, thought that you just all you want to do is stick it in my butt. Like, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you, you got to come up with something better than that. Uh, and, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm not I'm not a fan of the back door. Right. Like, like, like I, I'm I'm more of a I'm more of a just walk up to the door <laughs> and uh, and just let myself in through the front door type of person. <laughs> so so I don't even know why you got to even sneak to the back door. Like, oh, I mean, oh shoot. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but if he if he just want oral, then it then it might it might be something about her box that might not be right. I mean, you don't think you know? that she done asked these questions though? Have you asked? Like, I feel like look, this maybe goes the box back ain't right to the form of communication. Okay, you got to break this down for him because th- that right there, if you feel like you're missing something, you might be missing something. It gotta or- be, <laughs> it gotta be right and tight for me to like. It, it might it might be something with her. I, I'm just saying, like, I, like, like I'm, I, like I'm giving, I, I'm giving my homeboy the benefit of the doubt. Oh my gosh! Because he he already let me know that it, it, it might be something, it might be something going on with her, with her box, and her box just is, it, it just ain't hitting. It just ain't hitting on all cylinders. Is all I'm saying. You know, she might need to go, uh, she might need to go to the mechanic and get a tune up or something. 
you know, just to make sure everything is running properly the right way that it's supposed to. Because sound sound like she got an oil leak somewhere. <laughs> She need to go to the gynecologist. <laughs> just, just, just make a quick trip to the gynecologist. Make sure everything is right. It might not be all the way together. How do you know that it has anything to do with her, though? That's the thing. Like, she like, it's something wrong with him. Like, what is wrong with him? She nah. didn't say that there was anything wrong with her. Like, nah, ain't nothing wrong with my partner. I'm ain't ain't nothing wrong with out, him. Nah, babe. I'm, it's her. I'm just trying to tell. Okay, so you mean to tell me, like, if that's all you wanted to do, like, ever in life, and, and when we when we get down in the, in the bedroom, I'm. <laughs> nah, w- this is, wouldn't you tell me, though? Maybe. He just got a kinky fetish where he just like where he just so into the you know and and, and maybe you got to give him less options you know shout out to her too M- maybe she gotta break it down and be like you know I'm not finna give you no oral I'm not finna give you the anal because right now he got three options and right now he just he's like hey I'm I'm cool with these two damn if you gonna get any satisfaction out of it it's, it's about right. me that, okay it's exactly, about me that's exactly where I'm going well okay. forget you forget you okay. Because <laughs> it's about me too. I'm just saying. I, this is the Me Too movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. Is, it, yeah, yeah. Me yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, this is the age of the Me Too. So you you, you got to make sure that she that she getting handled too. Okay. Properly. But I, I'm just saying. You know, I'm just I'm just thinking of all the possibilities. So you don't think anything's wrong with him? Then is what you say. You just think that that's just like what he likes. I, that might be just what he likes. If that's what he like, he just likes that. If he hadn't said anything about like you know anything else? any other issues with with her box, you know, if, <laughs> if he ain't said anything about that, then I then I think he, you know, you know, she got that fire. I really can't with you in this damn box. And, and, and maybe he can't. Maybe he not lasting all the way to the you know, like like because because he gets some. He getting some top, and then he going through the back door, and it might be too much for him. By the time he get ready to go through the front door, like, he didn't already came to, you know, everything that already came to a head, like, mm. you know, like they say. I don't know. I just, I I feel That's like the one. majority of women just aren't just comfortable wanting to do anal all the time. Like, I don't care what woman. I, I just, if the, even if you like it, that's not what you want to do all the time. Like, yeah. And, and it definitely is not like your goat, like, <laughs> Your go to. I just, I just think that. I just think that. That's me. I don't know. Like hell no. You not. No. So if I told you that, find something else to do. So so what if I told you that? What? What you gonna say? Find something else do? to do. Find me something else to do. Yeah. G- get it together. Yeah. <laughs> Pull myself together. You got. You got to get smack right. Okay. <laughs> me too. Okay. <laughs> I, I need you to do more than that. It's, yeah, it, it's yeah, not yeah. breaking it down for me. It ain't. It ain't. That ain't what it is. Yeah. It ain't. Yeah. Yeah. Because he can't. He can't. He can't keep uh, receiving, and he ain't giving nothing. Right. Okay. Okay. okay I got you. Show him this segment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just this was a good ass question, though. Oh. Oh, she wrong for this. <laughs> she said, "Am I wrong for pretending to be sleep when my husband wants sex?" I am simply just not aroused, nor does he turn me on sexually as he hasn't been for years. I've told him before, but I don't say it anymore because I'm afraid it will hurt his masculinity. Otherwise, he's a great man in every other aspect of my life, just not in that department. Neither of us talk about it, but I'm not interested. I... I don't know. I'm, I'm just. You see how big my eyes got? I'm like, ooh. I don't know if I want to touch this question. <laughs> I don't know if I want to touch this one. How old do you think she is? Like, I, like I got a lot of question marks right now. See, there go the holes like, and the guessing and the gaps. I think she got a big problem on her hands, and she gonna have to let this man know because this could lead to something else. This could this could lead to like some real bad implications. I almost feel like she make it sound like she don't care. <laughs> She don't care what he does. Just don't bring it to me. I'm not. Don't. We aren't doing that because I'm not interested. But in why? I, I need more information. Why? She what is he said, not doing right? He, he can't be. It has to be a lot. If he's not satisfying her, like she could be turned off by a lot of things. Like maybe by the way he smells, maybe because he sweats, <laughs> maybe because, what? you know, she don't like the way he looks on top of her like it could be a lot it could be a lot of things like it sometimes i feel like sex sometimes could be mental obviously it's, it's a physical type of connection yeah, that I, you i'm have, feeling like it's more of like a, a physical thing because she's saying he's great in every aspect of life so maybe it has something to do with maybe like his physical features or something either physical or mental like there's a mental block somewhere where she just can't like be aroused by maybe him something about or, how he smelled maybe he need to he, maybe he need to use uh shit 
deodorant rather than Old Spice. <laughs> how, you, how you going? <laughs> maybe he need to put on some Calvin Klein uh, cologne. Maybe he need to throw that curve in the trash. I, I don't know. But it can't be that if she's saying that he just doesn't satisfy her. Like, that has to be what it is. Like, so whatever it is, orally, pleasurably, it's just not, it, it doesn't fit. Like, some believe it or not like like just think about you getting like some real weak ass head and you like man that is so disappointing like like i probably built my whole day up for this moment and then it happens and you be like oh my god that shit i'll never let her touch that again oh what the fuck next time next time she asks to do it i'm just gonna get i'm just gonna take a rain check so think about that for a like i feel like that would be the same case if a woman like you would just be so let down where it's just like oh I don't even think I want to even put myself in it because it's just awkward and it's weird and I'm not into it. Like, like it might be something that he says, like, you know, where it's maybe just he really- having a midlife crisis. Maybe, he, you know, it could, it could be a possibility where they where where, she, where they might need to get a consultation <laughs> and, and take him, you know, make make an appointment. I feel so he like can go to the doctor and get his prostate checked out. Definitely therapy needs to be involved here because there is something going on. Like, you can't, you can't just be denying this man for the rest of his life. Like, just because you don't want to do that. Like, I f- I, as part I, I, of your I'm thinking, wifely duties, that is your wifely duty. I'm thinking like, I'm, one I'm, of them. I'm thinking the brother is just losing libido. And, and it's probably something to do with maybe age. That's why I'm thinking, like, He's probably like thirty five and up. But it could be it is like it, maybe it's because of medications. Maybe like it could be something that's affecting all of those things. And really, it's like okay, well, obviously she knows that he needs it or he has to take it or that's what he has to do every day. So she doesn't. Yeah. I'm not gonna say you can't take that so that we can do what we do. Like yeah. no. Only thing I, I could suggest is like. Just sit down and talk with him. It, maybe it could be a mind thing. <laughs> it has to be something that's probably been ongoing. But at least she's mindful of it because she she doesn't want to hurt his feelings. Like she straight up said, I don't I don't even want to say nothing to him because I don't I feel like that wouldn't that kind of wouldn't that fuck with you if I said something to you like that? Absolutely, but <laughs> but, but 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 you know what? And it would, I feel like it would be the same if if a man told me if you told me that I would be like, damn, that's fucked up, right? Like what do I need to do? Right. But at the but at the same time, I, I'm thinking that may, maybe maybe he can't do it how he used to. Maybe it's something about her. It could because it could be something that psychologically, like with him and his wife right now, maybe he's just not turned on by her. So in turn, it's not turning her on because he's not all the way into it. But so he can't, can't fully. That's not what she said. I think she lying. I think I think she told a lie too in her. What she said was, <laughs> <laughs> she said, "I just like to. I'm pretending to be sleep." Oh, shit. <laughs> so when he get out the shower, he be ready to go. Like he, oh, all right, babe. I'm, I'm, you know. And then she just lean up, like straight up, play sleep. Yeah, but you didn't did that to me before. I do not. You think have done it. You have to be sleep. I don't know. It looked like one of your eyes was like babe, halfway open. You one are time. lying. <laughs> you are lying, babe. <laughs> I think one of your eyes might have halfway been open no, one time. She, you, <laughs> no, you be trying to you be trying to wait until two thirty. You were like, boop, boop. I, no, babe. Is he stop. Sleep? You need to stop playing with me. You need to stop. Because I know one with time. Me. I know one time I got out of the shower and then I came in. I was like, babe. Uh, <sighs> and I'm like, what the? Yeah. you you was like wide awake like fifteen minutes ago. I know I ain't take that long of a shower. I know it ain't take that long of a shower. Yeah, you are really bothering me. But no, man, man, but man, I I would just hate for you to have to like tell me something like that one day, and, and it may be coming one day. Like like but I said, you, I, we all get old. Uh, I don't I don't know. I, I I right, we do, but I don't think like the communication has been like communicated properly like Mm -hmm. or even in the right setting like maybe you feel like what you would say to him would hurt his feelings but maybe by you saying it and if you said it once maybe sure maybe he thought you was playing maybe he didn't believe you Mm -hmm. maybe he thought something else but like i just don't think that you should continue in silence and not say anything if he's if he's great everywhere else and he does everything else and fulfills you in every other aspect like 
you know, perhaps that that might not be something that that he can fulfill, but like at least communicate it so y'all can have a clear understanding as to what the issue is, rather than to leave him guessing yeah. at what like why or what the problem is or if there's a problem like you you can't go on and not say nothing like absolutely that, nothing like you got to tell them in the right you know that's why i said counseling like that's that's a safe space to to be able to explain something like that without trying to hurt somebody yeah she you know? she, she definitely have to be delicate how she tell him absolutely be, because we do a lot of like joking and kicking on her and you know you know having a lot of laughs but on a real note like you said communication rules the nation yeah. and you just got to sit down with them and communicate with them because, you know, your sex life is important yeah. in your marriage. And, and obviously and, she cares about them. And, and y'all should be able to enjoy that until y'all can't do it no more. Right. Right. So I, I would give some professional <clears throat> advice in that area. I'm no expert, but that's just mm. my advice to that. I, I just don't think that not saying anything or being silent or just leaving him hanging like that right. is... That's a but fact. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's go. These let's go. questions, though, y'all. This is what we've been waiting for for this whole episode <laughs> is to get to this confession, y'all. Yeah. So y'all tap in, dial in. Uh, before we even get into this confession, y'all go ahead and make sure y'all have like, make sure y'all drop a comment, make sure y'all subscribe because it's about to go down. Let's get it. Also, y'all, if y'all want to send over a confession, y'all can go to our website, a confession or a question. These questions were sent through our website, so mm. if y'all want to send some stuff over. Um, as I said before, you can go to Asia and BJ, www.asianbj.com, and you can just fill out the form, fill out the questionnaire, y'all. It's all anonymous. Everything is anonymous, okay? <laughs> <laughs> anonymous. Let me just put emphasis on that. So y'all yes. won't be thinking like, oh, she going to say she gonna say this email came from uh, pokeyandthem.com. Like, right. No. Never that, y'all. <laughs> it is completely confidential. Woo! This is about to heat your whole body. <laughs> this is about to heat your whole body. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? <clears throat> Absolutely. Let's jump into it, y'all. Doom, doom, doom. Okay. Do, 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 do. The title, the subject. I don't know if my son is my husband's, and neither do I. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Let me take. Okay. Uh oh, yo, <laughs> some secrets about to get revealed. Okay. Oh. Please don't leave out any gaps. Oh, Please don't. It is kind of long. I'm not going to hold y'all. This, this is kind of long. Okay. Because, and she told us a lot. So here we go. Okay. Hi, Asia and BJ. I've been watching you guys for at least a year now, and you two are quite the couple. This is a bit long, but I have to explain everything. Okay, so I'll get right into it. My name is Allison, and I'm 39. My husband's name is Don, and he is 37. We have been married two years, and we've been together for almost six years. We have two children. Sophie is almost four, and Simon, our son, is two. Let me start with our biggest problem, Don's mother, Kathy. When Don and I met at work, we dated, <clears throat> excuse me, we dated for three years before I was finally able to convince Don to introduce me to his mom. Ugh, I regret even pushing the issue. It didn't take long after meeting her to figure out, one, she judged me because I had tattoos, and two, I was still living with my parents at the time voluntarily. When Don and I first started talking, we were friends, slowly growing into a relationship, and we began hanging out all the time. Time passed, and I finally got courage to ask him, why hadn't he made me his girlfriend? He treated me like a girlfriend. We did a lot of boyfriend and girlfriend stuff, and after three years, he finally asked me to be his girlfriend. I waited on him for three years. She put that in all caps. Damn. I waited on him for three years. We got another one that had to wait, y'all. Damn. He, um, he wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, three years is a long time. He does have a little brother who still lives at home and now about to graduate high school, and he says he's very involved in his brother's life. He helps his mom with raising him, but funny he never mentioned that or brought it up until he wanted me to be his girl. 
At the time, he was living with his mother, but he moved out and we moved in together when we found out I was pregnant. Mm. That's typical, though. Yeah. (laughs) On day one of moving into our apartment is when I met Kathy. That that probably wasn't a good (laughs) at all. No, (laughs) the day y'all moved in. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, (laughs) that's too much shit to be happening in one day. Damn. Too many things to expect. Too many things that could possibly go wrong. Right. Not not to mention like at this point now she pregnant and so what Kathy Kathy like wait 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 a minute okay let me meet this girl you meet her and y'all moving it's just man but the, the timing is bad oof okay let me just keep going because I I got questions too she came over to bring some of Don's things and it felt like she was there to talk down on every little thing she could find I don't recall her saying one compliment. My first initial conversation with her, she told me to my face that I'm only with Don for the come up. But what the fuck? We worked at the same place, doing the same job, making the same money. Other than that, she didn't know shit about me. So they both on a level playing field, sounds like to yeah, me. Yeah, okay. like, yeah. <laughs> so we still had our own little issues here and there, but our main problem and the cause of the majority of our relationship problems has always re- resulted to Don's mother. When I say this woman might as well still have the umbilical cart attached to him, it's the truth. Don's mother is a master at manipulation and she keeps the shit going between the two of us. When Sophie was born, she insisted to be the first to hold her, not me. When we brought her home, she wanted to be the help, but her handling made me so uncomfortable, I won't even go there. When we got married, she wanted to plan the wedding, pick our wedding colors, pick our venue. She even got pissed because my mom helped me decide on a wedding dress and not her. She didn't come for the dress fitting because she knew my mom would be there, as she should. Kathy was the primary reason our arguments got so bad that we split up to begin with. Don is a real live, straight up mama's boy. Yes, I knew that when I married him, but somehow I thought marrying him would change that. I somehow assumed that I would be his first lady and not his mother. I remain in competition for his love aside from our children with his mom. In the beginning of our relationship, it actually seemed somewhat cute when he would gently speak of her or mention something about her, but that got old quick and clingy mom and son relationship just became too much for me. His mom was so suffocating, it became uncomfortable and even unbearable to the point that I could I couldn't stand even being around Don, especially if it had anything to do with Kathy. We didn't get divorced during our split, but we were seeing other people. Now that you have the background, here's my problem. Oh, we get to we get to the nitty gritty. Come <laughs> and on. And she put in her deep breath in parentheses. Deep breath. Because because I'm sitting here listening to <laughs> everything, and I'm like, okay, where where is it at? Where 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 are we going? Okay. <laughs> okay. Say what you want, but I'm a woman who's got needs. Three weeks after we split, I found out I was pregnant with our son. The problem is, I don't think it was even a week and a half at most after we split before I had sex with another man. I only did it because I was furious when I found out that Kathy was so quick to throw another woman in Don's face amid our breakup, and I was extremely hurt. She messaged me, a picture of them like it was funny, but really I was extremely hurt and upset by that. And though I was happy about the pregnancy, kind of, I was scared. She better be scared, shaking in her boots. The timing couldn't have been worse because everything that happened leading up to me getting pregnant all falls around the week we split and following in the following week I had sex with the other guy. It's been the secret I've been holding on to since We got back together. I didn't wait long to tell Don I was pregnant, but I also never told him about what I had done either. I just can't bring myself to do it. After Don found out about the pregnancy, we agreed that it was best we try to repair the relationship and try to fix our marriage. We literally went through therapy for a year after getting back together, but why it's weighing on me now is because I feel guilty. 
He never questioned if Simon was our child. And when he was born, I couldn't find a single feature or trait that convinces me that he is Don's son. For some reason, maybe it's karma. I feel like he's starting to look more and more like the other man to me. Oh, shit. Simon is two now, but his physical features are disguised because the man I had sex with had some of the same traits as Don. Same dark hair, light brown eyes. But there are other things like his lips, his nose, even his eyebrows and how he stands all look like the other guy to me. I'll be honest. I'm scared as hell of doing a DNA test on him because I am terrified of what the results might say. I have a feeling he's not Don's kid and it's killing me inside, not telling him. What do I do? No one is questioning if Simon is my husband's and no one knows what I've done. I'm struggling with keeping quiet or coming clean. By the way, since therapy, our relationship has improved a lot, but it's been a work in progress. It feels the way a real marriage should, at least for now. Please okay. help. Okay. Signed anonymous. Sign, seal, and deliver. Okay. Now, now one of the, you know, one of the silver linings, one of the golden things that that I picked up out of this confession is her saying, you know, taking a step to like go to counseling and get therapy. The only thing that I'm having a problem with right now because she said they went to counseling and therapy for over a year, right? Yeah. Throughout this whole time with them going through therapy, she she never brought this up. She ain't said nothing. <laughs> She ain't said a damn thing. She ain't said no. The thing is, though, you, like no, it, like nobody knows. Like they don't even know what she's like. He probably was like, okay, well, the only person that knows is her and God, right? Now. Right, <laughs> literally. Okay, well, I'm, I'm finna. Oh, wait, man. I'm finna. I'm finna say this right now, and 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 it's not gonna be popular. <laughs> what I'm about to say, it's not gonna be popular at all. <laughs> but I, I'm just like, oh God, man, don't say the wrong thing, man. She shouldn't say nothing about it. I just don't think that she should, she should say nothing about it. She didn't. She didn't dug a hole, babe. She <laughs> done, You don't think that she didn't dug a hole for herself? <laughs> I don't know. Like she didn't dug a hole because because now, you know, you know, now they've mended their relationship through therapy. And like I said, if y'all going through therapy, this is an opportunity just to get it all, just to get it all off your chest. So come clean. It, like, like that was the opportunity I think, for you to I, do I feel like that. it. I feel like that window done closed. Ooh, I'm, I'm being honest. Man. I don't no? know. I, I kind of got to agree. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just saying back by popular demand. I don't know because shouldn't. I feel like if the shoe was on the other foot, he sure as hell wouldn't tell. <laughs> 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 he ain't telling. He ain't telling. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm just saying. Oh no! Like, if he was a man and he could, he could get away with not having to tell her about another baby or that. And her, <laughs> he had another baby. He not telling. And her, and her husband and her and her husband name is Don, right? Yeah. I mean, she just better pray to God that that <laughs> that that little boy physical features just <laughs> some of Don start coming out somewhere. Like, I feel like though, no. like, oh. You know what? It could very much be like maybe because he has some of the same traits, but it could it could it could, it could be that you seeing it differently because you know what you did and, and, yeah. and your mind is playing tricks on you. Yeah. You know? I mean that's a possibility that mine could be playing <laughs> tricks on her. And now you start thinking like, when was the last time you were around the other guy to even know like how he like I don't I w my question is like how long did this go on? Like yeah. it couldn't have been that long if it was like a month before you found out that you were you were pregnant. So I I would think between that that week and a half and and like that's a what two and a half weeks for a month. So yeah. it didn't take that long that you were around this guy to even had known a lot of that unless you knew him before. In my mind, I would think that this was something that she did just because it was like. Fuck that. Like, your mama got you hooking up with this female over here. It was like a, like a spontaneous. And just... it, was like a, it was like a spiteful type of action, oh, you know? Shit. But let me ask you this question, too. <laughs> what is, like, a woman's gestation as far as holding a child? It's the I'm time, trying to do some math. Like, the time frame, like, right. That's 30, <laughs> I was sitting here. Is, I is it 36 weeks, 39 weeks? 40. It's 40. But sometimes they could come between 37 and 40 weeks, like, okay. and okay. still be fine. Her potential mother-in-law, I just I just feel like she is just a nagger. Like, she is just a hoverer. Mm -hmm. 
on the next episode of Mothers Who Smother. You know, like she's a smotherer. That's what that's what it sounds like to me. And she just couldn't take it. And here's the son, you know, being, you know, the mama's boy, a, a, allowing that to happen. Because I feel like that that's one thing that drew a wedge between them as far as like fracturing a relationship. Yeah, because it sounds like she never even gave her an opportunity to like get to know her. It was like, oh, you live with your mom. Oh, and oh, now you're pregnant. Oh. Yeah, it just seemed like she already had like preconceived notions. <laughs> you got all these tattoos, exactly like, before she even really met her and had a chance to sit yeah. down and really get to know her. My other question was that why? Why did he wait that long to even tell his mom about you? Like why? Yeah. That's a was long there time. Such a long time before he even brought you around her. You like, know why? I feel like that's weird. You know why? Because he already know how his mama is. He was he was trying he was trying to postpone that as long as he could. I kind of I kind of thought that initially, but mm. I thought that there would be more. Like I felt like I just would think that it 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 wasn't that he knew how his mom was. I think it's like he knew what his mom would think of her yeah. like it, it with tattoos and living exactly. at home like think about like how that would be if if a woman if a, if a young lady if if your 18 or 19 year old daughter brings her boyfriend to the house and mm-hmm. or or 25 mm-hmm. you know out of college at this point and he lives with his mom and he doesn't have his own car and he doesn't have a job and and then and then you go and you tell you bring that to your mom and dad and they like Okay. Yeah. 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 I but, see, but I, see where this, is, I see where this is going. He could be great. This boy wants to be a doctor. He has all these ambitions. He has all these aspirations, and it's like Some, your but, mom and dad ain't giving you time to explain all of that uh-uh, cause they because like, they like they already they are they are no in their mind they they are already <laughs> formulating this opinion about right. him. They already got their hypothesis. If you were her telling your parents about me, I'd be like, why 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 are you telling your mom and them about all about me? Right. They yeah. telling all my business. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But like, what did she do to get to know you before like meeting you at the apartment? I just felt exactly. like that was the that right there was a very bad idea. It, like, y'all should have did this way before and, all this. And, even yeah, happened. and it sounded like a setback because now, yeah, it's just too many things that you're trying to do at one time. Right, meet the mom, move in, mm-hmm. and, and you pregnant, and then she pregnant. The the little boy, he already too. I know right now she just praying right now that. That that little boy start looking like done in some kind of way when she <laughs> look he, at him. He got the hair and, and the she eyes. probably looking at him like, <laughs> okay, when, when okay uh, okay when I look on when I look on his good side, my, my, my little baby, my, my little boy, good side, he look like <laughs> done. And then when I look on the other side, I don't know, like he look. <laughs> it's, it's like Jekyll and high. You look he like look a, little a little bit different. of both. Yeah, <laughs> he look a little different. I you bet know? I bet she on pins and needles every day. I think the fact that if if you was a, a woman, what would you do? I'm I'm finna put the ball in your court. Ooh. Yeah, see? Tough decision. I I don't I mean, the fact that she's feeling guilty, I feel like that's something that's weighing on your heart. Yeah. Like and whenever something is on your heart like that, like the best way to, to, to get like to get through that or to overcome that feeling of guilt is to speak on it. Like and to say your piece. Like say what you did and get it out and be for real and 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 talk about it because that feeling than, that she feeling is never going to go away, right? Because otherwise, you're not only hiding it from him, you're hiding it from the son, <laughs> like that that attachment, like. And, and if you really want to just give yourself some type of peace, if you really want to really for real, like you better do a DNA test. So because if that boy grow up and he do a DNA test. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't got nowhere to run right. because and, it's all over. And and just think about this. If if they found out later in life, just think about how detrimental that'll be to her son and her husband. So she could she really could lose out on two relationships right. later down the line. Yes. That's why I'm like, okay, if y'all agreed that y'all were gonna see other people, why did you leave that part out to say I did have that's sex with I'm somebody? Saying. Like that's when you should have said it. You had to. You had to. And and then like even when as far as saying like we didn't use protect protection oh my god so there's a chance you know so that he's at <sighs> least aware like now i just feel like there's no like way you out. said the door is closed now and, and window now, of opportunity yeah you going back and trying to backpedal oh man oh it, hell it just, is going to break loose that's what i'm saying i would have been looking at him when he came out like that's probably why the mama was doing what she was doing oh no like uh <laughs> like 
let me, you know, pull his baby picture right. out. Of it. And you probably low key really been trying to figure it out, but yeah. without you actually getting like the details on the truth, I yeah. think you should start there. He he could be from the from another family. He I could, mean, it it might be. <laughs> he ah, like, he could look like he's Stark, but he really a Targaryen. <laughs> I can't, y'all. Bitch is on something today, literally. Yeah, it's something in my cup, y'all. Green, oh. t- green tea and maple syrup. That, that's what's in my cup. Literally, my advice to you, man. I, oh man, and like you, like you said, I feel like there's gonna be a conflict of opinion on this. It's either you, I think the majority of the people that that. <laughs> Like our supporters in the comments, they like, nah, I, I'm telling, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna come clean. But Y'all like, lying, man. Y'all lying. Stop lying. <laughs> in a real Stop lying scenario, to yourself. I don't think like half of the majority of people <laughs> would not say anything. Yeah, I think the way that this is gonna play out, <sighs> I, I feel like the way it's gonna play out, it's not gonna is be that good, he's just gonna figure it out. I don't know. It's gonna, it's gonna be something in his, in his soul, his spirit, something. Stuff like that it's always gone. come back around. Like it it's, do. it's it gonna do. come back around and bite you in the ass Just some like, kind of way. Like yeah. maybe he he might, you know, God forbid, like something happens and they be like, we need a DNA match to save him with the same blood. Can we get the daddies and they gonna right? Be like, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's gonna be it's and, and it's gonna be something so minuscule, right? Something so simple that they go and do it and then it it just. It just <laughs> It's just like one one thing lead to the next. Right. Question mark after question mark after question mark, and and at that point you're gonna get backed into a corner. And like I said, oh man, I just, oh. do we have time to say a prayer before oh. we get off of here? <laughs> can we can we pray? I don't know what you gonna do. Isn't it like I I really thought this. I'm like I li- I don't <laughs> I I I'm not gonna tell you not to tell, but at the same time I'm like you probably need to come clean so you can get this off your heart. Yeah, she's gonna have to and get that off her heart. And everybody knows the truth. Like, even if he comes back and it is <sighs> his son, like, you told the truth. Like, I mean, and the, and the fact of the matter is, is like, y'all were split up when all of this really kind of yeah. happened. So, yeah, I yeah, mean, that's yeah. not an excuse. And and then to say why you did it in terms of that, like, yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna look like it was vengeful. It, it's, it's gonna it's gonna sound like you did it out of revenge. Yeah. She might have to take it to a grave, Asia. She might have to take it to her grave. She might, she might, but but Simon might find out one day. <laughs> Maybe because when you do them DNA tests, ain't ain't no, there's nothing you can do about that. Like your yeah. your mama and your daddy come up no right. matter what, right? Because the uh, the ancestry, yes. oh babe, and you don't have to give this them could. that information. They give it to you, You're right? I just <laughs> that's why it's I'm gonna come. That. It, that's why I'm like, but if Simon does a DNA test when he turned like 18 and he want to figure out, he like, oh my, I got an ancestry test today. Sh- you better run. She for gonna your shit life. a brick, right? <laughs> <laughs> she gonna shit a brick that day. That's what I'm saying. So we are going to wrap it there, y'all. Look at my look at my leg shaking and everything. I'm, I'm just like, oh my god, oh gosh. When I wait, I need an update. I I, I need an update on, on this oh, confession. Man. Hopefully, we can get an update. And you know, and and she and she took responsibility for it and said something about it, and, and told him. Hopefully, y'all chime in to this. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section, Absolutely. and also on the other questions as well that <laughs> we had the short form questions. But hopefully, y'all enjoyed this. Um, and if y'all did, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Absolutely. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Chime in to our uh, streaming platforms. Go support us over there. I iTunes, Spotify, we are everywhere, okay? The link is down in the description. So make sure y'all tap in and show us some love. Go leave us a review. We would certainly, certainly appreciate it. And shoot, hug your babies, kiss your loved ones, pet your dogs, y'all. I love y'all so, so much. For everything y'all do for us, we could not be any of what we are without any one of y'all. And for that, we are truly, truly thankful. Amen. Everybody stay blessed. Have a safe week. And we're going to see y'all on the next episode, y'all. Absolutely. Uh, uh. Happy Leap Your Day. Yeah, y'all. Peace and blessings, (laughs) y'all. Bye.